Yo guys and welcome to North Station, it's your boy North here and I'm so sorry guys for the late upload on my videos, I've got so much going on and I'm trying to get everything done as I go along. I am going to finish this game for you guys because this is a, a tales that I really do enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video, I hope you guys keep on supporting me, thank you ever so much for the support on this channel. Even if you spend 1 second to click on my video, 10 seconds to click on my video, it means so much to me. This is just a hobby, this is my way of getting, getting away from from reality so this is this is my thing that I like to do so with no further ado guys let's jump into Tales of Zestiria and as I said before I'm so sorry for the late upload it is coming I am going to finish this game and thank you guys so much for your support let's go Pretty impressive land skills. For a human. Like you would know what for a human even means. Shut up, Saray. Watching these two, it makes me think humans and Seraphim can get along. And that'll do it.
pick something up? Did I do it? I think I did. standing on end. There's something lurking deep inside here. Yes, even I can sense something wrong here. Snacks were not built in a day. Is that a monolith? No, this is what protects both myself and the entire nation. The only heavy thing is this conversation. Huh? 
I'm fine. Let's go on ahead. What's that? Hmm. This forest was a ruin too. We haven't found a ruin yet that wasn't crawling with hellions. The malevolence really is widespread. I'm sorry. <sighs> it tears me up inside seeing all these ruins defiled. But if we purify the hellions while we explore the ruins, isn't that like two birds with one stone? Think about how jealous of our adventures literally every other historian and archaeologist will be. You're such a sweet, simple soul, you know that? Huh? You're right. Fretting over this won't get us any closer to our answers. We should all take a page out of Miklio's book and laugh at our worries. And if Saray thinks you're happy-go-lucky, I think Miklio's in shock. Let's get going, touchy-feely Miklio. Hey, you're doing this on purpose. Or for short, touchy-feelio. No! No nicknames! Ready, Miklio? Ready? No Snacks were not built in a day, you know. Could this be... Elixir? The all-healing panacea made by Mautellus? Oh my! What a delightful butterfly! Whoops! I guess it's random o'clock again. Anyway, the elixir. You think it's the real thing? According to the celestial record, the methods used to make elixir were lost ages ago. And look! An icky beetle going creepo crawl a creepo crawl! I guess we won't know for sure unless we try it. You think that's safe? It'll just be a drop. Whoa! I feel rejuvenated! It is the real thing. Nice! Wish we could just buy this at the store. That'll be difficult. The only remaining elixir left in the world of humans is in custody of the church. The church, huh? <laughs> Ran out of bugs, I take it. We'll have excellent luck. Wait, what about me?
ruthless out there. Ready? Let's do some fortune telling. Please pick one. Okay. Oh, this one's blank. That means your spirit is pure and clean, like this paper. Oh, th thank you. She's gullible. Way too gullible. Weapons ready! Looks like we win! I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one! in ancient tongue.
Ready? Yes! Is this like the plant boss of the area? No, it looks like a mutant hellion, like Ouroboros. Mutant hellion? It's probably the effect of the anomalous orbs. Just like the ones Knight Arthur and Echidna had. Let's keep our guard up. Hang on, everyone! I must try harder. Demon Swallow! This is my time! My time! Let's do some fortune telling. Please, pick one. All right. Nicleo and Edna will have excellent luck. Wait, what about... Now, the blessing should return to Marlin. Saray! Ah! Ah! Alicia! Eat this! You couldn't see it, could you? So the Squire's Pact is affecting you. No, I just wasn't paying attention. Alicia and Miklio nearly died because of you. Well, I'm not dead, and Saray was only hiding it for Alicia's sake. I understand that, but even so... He's at his limit. I know. Saray. Alicia! Thank goodness. Don't worry about me. It looks like we were able to expand Rohan's domain. Well, that's that. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I do want to check in on Lucas's crew. Here. Thanks. So, oh, that was Lucas and the Woodsman, huh? They sure are a funny bunch. It seems people form bonds in more ways than I realized. Their logic makes sense, though, if you buy their premises in the first place. Those who give themselves completely to what they believe in are all the more pure for doing so. It's true that I felt no malevolence from them. You mean malevolence doesn't spring merely from the distinction between right and wrong? Even a villain might not bear any malevolence, specifically because they believe so thoroughly in their villainy. Yeah, man, this malevolent stuff is tricky business. Well, be assured at least that it's a very good thing you're so concerned about it. I think it's good too, Saray. Though it's a fine line between pure and naive. Can't argue with you there. Ah, this is making my brain hurt. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey there, Shepherd's Pie. As you can see, everything here is hunky-dory. Thanks. I knew you could handle it. How'd it go? We managed. Good to hear it. Then I guess it's time for us to pack up and ship on out. The guards are trickling back onto duty, and we've got a new job lined up already. Shall we take a break at the end for a spell? Sure. Let's just take it easy for today. And tomorrow, we'll be leaving Marland? Yeah, that's the idea. Why? What? Why? Huh? Seraph? So you are with this one. Why aren't you staying in Marland? What is your problem? Silence, brat. I'm asking the Shepherd. Why are you throwing away the name you've earned for yourself from saving this town? Why throw yourself away like this? We've done all we can here. And I have more to learn elsewhere. That's all. How odd. You too. <laughs> Who were they? I don't know. But this means there are other humans who dwell with Seraphim besides me. So they're assassins. Well, I say the hell with them. The more important issue is where we're headed next. Thought about it? I have. The Rolands Empire. Splendid idea. Hellions and ruins alike know no borders, after all. Trail. Saray, let us give our respects to Rohan and the others. Right. Good thinking. <sighs> Little by little, people are coming back to worship the great tree. You can trust I will do my part as well. That's good. We can take our leave in peace. Huh? Aww. No, y'all are running out on us? You take care, Attack. I, 
I'm staying behind. Huh? After all, we need to find someone to properly give tribute to Rohan. Alicia, you don't mean... And I have to report to Lady Lake about what happened in Marland. Things with the Council have just settled down, and if you're with me, you'll just get wrapped up in it again. I would love to continue our travels, but I... Well... Thank you so much, Alicia. Same to you. For everything, Saray. Get a room, you two. It's not like you won't see each other again. I shall do my best to work toward a highland with no malevolence. And I'll keep chasing my dream. Safe travels. Y'all come back now, you hear? I have a message. It's urgent. Hey, hang in there! The Empire! The Roland's Empire is attacking! What? So the war has begun. Please, pass the warning to the people of Marland. I have to get to the capital. You're injured. It's too dangerous! There's no time to waste! Be careful. Don't do anything reckless. Thank you. We'd better go tell everyone. All right, you bums. Play time's over. Let's go show those frou-frous in the capital what we're made of. Yeah! I'm going. Yeah, I couldn't live with myself if we let these folks just run out to get slaughtered. You mustn't! If the Shepherd enters the heart of battle, the camp he extends his help to will surely be victorious. So what, we just sit quietly and watch? Yep, it's up to the Earth Dwellers to figure out some sort of compromise with each other. But with the Shepherd's power, I know I could save people. You might save the people of Highland, yes. However... The people of Rolands wouldn't be so lucky is the flip side. Correct. That's the nature of war. War knows neither justice nor malice. The power of the Shepherd greatly shapes the world itself. Were you to enter the war, there's no telling how warped it could become. All right. I do want Lucas and his group to take refuge along with the villagers. Will that be okay? Yes. Then let's talk to Lucas at once. They sounded like they were getting ready to leave any second now. Okay. Lucas, I'd really like you to seek refuge along with the villagers. Like hell! The battlefield is where we earn our living. Besides, we just helped rebuild your town here, no? You really want to see Roland's tear it to pieces? I'm just worried about all of you. Hmm. Please. Fine. We'll pull back beyond the Grifflet River. It's a damn shame. We're just gonna abandon this town right when it was getting its punch back? We both know what's really important. Hmm. I can tell I'm no match for this herder of sheep. 
Change your plans, you bums! We're taking the townsfolk to safety, up north across the Grifflet River. Get your preparations in order. Thank you. You'd better get ready yourself. The bridge still isn't fully restored just yet. We'll probably have to go ahead and set up camp by the riverbanks. You got it. We're good on our end. What say you, Shepard? Ready to head for the river? I am Commander General Landon of the Highland Army. Is the Shepherd with you? That's me. You, huh? Does your business with the Shepherd really require so many troops, General Landon? You're that sellsword Lucas of the Shrub Boys, aren't you? Just as well. You listen up, too. I bring word of Lady Alicia. On suspicion of using the Shepherd to foment discord against the state. As well as assisting the Roland's Empire with its invasion, Lady Alicia has been detained. That's nonsense! Alicia would never do such a thing! It is not an arrest, Shepard. Merely an interrogation. Well, this certainly stings to high heaven. <sighs> but if the Shepard were, say, to wield his power to deliver victory to our troops, it would likely assuage any suspicions we might have. Why you? Yeah. Saray, let us do as he says. We probably don't have a choice. If Alicia were to die at their hands. Yes. We all know Saray would blame himself for it. And if that were to happen, even someone like Saray could become corrupted by malevolence. That's it, right? If the Shepherd is corrupted by malevolence, it will guide the world to ruin, faster than even war could accomplish. The sooner we end this, the better. We can make this work. After all, you've got us with you. If I fight, do I have your guarantee Alicia will be released? If you bring us victory, then yes. We're coming too. Sorry, but it just ain't in our blood to turn tail and run. We sellswords have built up too much pride in too many battles for that. Very well. But I'm in charge here. You had better not forget that. So then, Shepard, I'll be waiting on the battlefield. Hey, cheer up, buddy. With the woodsman on the job, the Shepard won't even have to lift a finger. Saray, please hold All your right, head up you high. You ready for I told you, didn't I? Battle? You've got us with you. Don't get all stupid gung-ho about this war business, okay? Just do what you need to do to get this crap over with. Thank you, everyone. Why are these things happening? And this time, we're against the humans, and it's a war which makes it even worse. Yes, we may hurt people during the process, just trying to get them to stop fighting. That may cause emotional pain for Saray, which in turn may create malevolence. How could that be? If that's true, then the chance of a shepherd not being affected by malevolence is about as small as a pinhole. That's what it means to get involved with humans. And that is the way of the shepherd. If only he could forget about Alicia like a snap of a finger. There's no way he can. I know. That's exactly why he became a shepherd, right? Yes. <sighs> I guess I need to prepare myself. We sure have had some fantastic weather lately. On that note, it's time to continue our skill lecture. If you say so. Today's lesson is about bonus skills. Aren't you ecstatic? Uh, sure. You can probably enact a couple skills without even thinking too much about it. But, from the combination of basic skills you use, comes... Wait for it. Bonus skills! But hullabaloo aside, the way it works is actually super simple. There are only three special rules. There's stack, 
a bonus that activates when you equip the same skill multiple times. Lumping them together like that will give you a little extra boost. The effectiveness will vary based on how many of the same skill you stacked, but at the end of the day, it produces only one stack bonus. So when you equip four of the same skills, the stack for the second or the third ones don't occur. Next, when you equip all five skills belonging to the same group, you have a group union. For this one, you'll need to have collected all five skills of a specific column. The bonus skill will further enhance those skills' effects. And lastly, there are elemental unions, which trigger when you place skills of the same element next to each other, but... Oops, out of time! See you again next week! Seriously? Today's lesson is about bonus skills triggered by elemental unions. If a group union is vertical, you can say an elemental union is horizontal. Unlike a group union, you can activate an elemental union with as few as two skills, so long as they're placed side by side. Since there's ten groups, does that mean you can put anywhere between two and ten skills together? Yeah. Depending on the number of skills you have lined up, the effects will change. You can even duplicate the same effects if you want. So like, if you have two each of the non-elemental skills, Attack and Rangus equipped... You'll get two Elemental Union 2 bonus skills, reducing non-elemental damage by 20% instead of 10. Not only that, but you'll get two Stack 2 effects on top of that. But you need to be careful. If you decide to equip just one of the third non-elemental skill, Blued, the bonus skill for Elemental Union 3 will activate, but the two Elemental Union 2 effects will both disappear. So for Elemental Union bonus skills, it first checks the total length of the combo, and then calculates how many of that combo to activate? Yep, bonus skills are beneficial, but you have to really start thinking things through if you want to optimize your strengths. It probably won't end well if you just use different equipment together blindly, so think carefully about what kind of equipment you want to use beforehand. So, could you have an item where all four slots are the same skill in a four stack? Or an item that, just by itself, triggers an Elemental Union 4 bonus? That's right. With proper item fusion and equipment coordination, you can draw out enormous power from skills, far beyond their basic effects. And there's one important announcement to be made. Next week again, huh? This is the last lesson. What? Really? Yeah. <laughs>